driving to save the world from the evil Decepticons, the heroic Autobots are led by Optimus Prime. He's more than meets the eye. He's a Rohan in disguise. Rohan, who is this guy? Ro, 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 Rohan, the one and only Rohan. Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Nick. Hello everyone, welcome back to the corner. Thank you to my show hordes. What a week it's been. Great news there from Hasbro with all those amazing reveals. Some excellent characters we didn't expect to see and had not been spoiled by PvP. It's always good, isn't it, when you get something fresh. And I will be spending on some of those later in the year. But for now, it's time for a Rohan's Corner through the generations review of... Ah... My magic square hound still hasn't arrived. It's been three weeks and I've got no update on the shipping, so unfortunately I can't say much about that. But remember when I talked to you about my two really, really rare eBay items that are coming through that I picked up recently? Well, one's on the table over here. For any of you eagle-eyed viewers, you may see a Toy World Grant or Grand Maximus in the corner over there. Rare as feck, as I understand it, never seen one for sale. It took me ages to get the Fort Max, let alone the Grand Max, and then all of a sudden he turned up on eBay. Who knew? Anywho, the other one is even more exciting, and it is uh, something that I put a spoiler out on Transformers The Show's Facebook page earlier this week, and I've got a couple of boxes here for you to see. It is the iGear Computer Control Center which doesn't really mean much, right? So what is that? Well, it's Teletran 1 in a playset. This is a CGI rendered image of it. It kind of looks like that. The box is pretty big, as you can see. It's a big unit. I've very rarely seen one of these. I saw one pop up on TFUK's Facebook page earlier this week. But realistically, I think I've seen it about three times. When it first came out back in 2009, it was about $130, but the quality wasn't great. So people didn't pick it up. Plus the fact that it's pretty damn big. And at the same time, it got reduced down to like, say, $60. And so a few people picked them up, I guess. But realistically, if you try and find one today for sub 500 quid, you're gonna be struggling. So without further ado, let's take a look at it. And there we have it, folks, Teletran 1 in all its glory with a bunch of computers and doodads, bits and pieces, a sky spy, a base, a repair bay and screens galore, as was the case from iGear in 2009. And it's got an all encompassing display, which means it gets brilliant pictures and videos with the background and the floor reminiscent of Generation 1's arc interior and you can put your figures on there and take fantastic videos and pictures. It also has a sticker sheet that comes with it which I have not tried to apply because apparently the stickers are next to useless uh, to get on and to get off and toy hacks or repro labels do a much better set anyway so I'll be looking at getting that. The Sky Spy is a nice addition, which you can hover up there and as if he's flying off into the sky. And the detailing on all the various different Teletran panels, especially those which have got the computer consoles and are really, really nice. It is a bit of a ball ache to put together though, I will admit. It took me a couple of hours and then I built it on the dining table, transported it here, and a few little bits and pieces came apart and so I tried to put them back together and half of it fell apart again. That is the way with this set. It is not designed to lock into place at all. Once you get it in, it falls apart very, very quickly. So you have to be very careful. All the interlocking little pieces are individual panels, as you can see. The floor locks in better than the walls. The walls are terrible. And there's no give in this plastic. So if you need a little bit of tolerance, it just doesn't want to stay. So for example, on the side walls here, there is a little bit of indifference between the two panels. They don't want to line up and it really bugs the hell out of me, but it is what it is. You can't do anything about it. If only they built it in magic square plastic, that would have worked. 
But anywho, that's nothing that a bunch of bulldog clips can't fix. But in terms of scale, how does it work? Here we have a small menagerie splattering of predominantly Legends class figures. You can see I've got some Magic Square smaller mini bots, some large size figures. I've got some MFT and some core class here to showcase how they scale up with Teletran, New Age, the mini bots, and also Shockwave over there. Carbots to showcase how they look against there. They look a little bit small, but these are New Age of Magic Square to be fair. And then at the end here, I've got Impossible Toys, Alpha Tryon, Generation 1, Optimus Prime, who is a little bit large, I think, personally. And then the repair bay is huge, so technically it can fit a generation spot like pipes over there. If I pick him up and showcase how he looks there, actually, Generations works not too badly for the smaller deluxe scale on this set. And obviously, MFT's Omega Supreme comes up to about the top of the display there. It also comes with this hella cool G1 tape deck sound wave painted, unlike Hasbro. Obviously it doesn't transform, but you can put him there to reminisce from more than meets the eye as Spike comes along and says, hey, what's that tape deck doing there? Now it wasn't cheap, I won't pretend for a moment. However, the amount of play factor this set gives, the amount of aesthetic looks and posability you're going to get from your bots by creating different scenes with this is fantastic and I think it was worth every penny of what I paid. If you can get one and you don't mind spending a few hours putting it together and you've got the patience, you're going to need a lot of patience, I recommend it if you can find one. If you're a true collector, you need this in your collection. Anywho, that's been Rohan for another week. Thank you for joining me. Catch you again next week. Back to the studio.